Hey guys, Euclid Mining. Today I want to go over a PCIe splitter. So you've probably seen a couple of these online. I don't know if you've given them a try, but I'm going to give it a try because I've got a, um, a mining rig that'll hold HEPUs, the, the frame itself. Now the board only has six slots. So um, if I want to add another uh, uh, you know, GPU on it, I'm going to have to buy a better board. The problem is that so if I got to spend eight or eight fifty on another you know card, I also have to spend another two fifty to three hundred bucks on another board. Now unless I have something compatible, I'm gonna have to get the uh, you know the CPU. I'm gonna have to get the RAM, the board, and uh, you know you're talking several hundred dollars uh, to make that happen on top of getting another card. So I want to fill up the rest of the slots on this uh, frame, and to do that gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna see if I can sidestep that a little bit now because I'm gonna be adding more GPUs on this thing I'm gonna need more power so I went ahead and I bought two 1200 watt uh, HP power supplies and with these two I'll be able to power uh, all the cards that are gonna be on here so I knew I had to get that if I wanted more cards. If um, I want to add more cards, I got to get a board and the chip and the RAM and everything with it. You know, eventually I'm going to have to get a larger frame because I'd like to get up to 12 on this one frame on this one uh, rig. So that's another 150 bucks for the for the frame itself. So I figured if I could stagger it and say, you know, just kind of go in between it. I'd be able to afford it more easily. So if I had to buy more power supplies and I had to go ahead and get uh, you know, a board, chip, and RAM um, right there alone, uh, you know, and then throw on a, a card on top of that, you know, uh, it'd be a lot of money uh, real quick up front. Now I would be set to continue to build out, but right now I feared I could stagger it. Like I said, get the power supplies first, and the splitter and be able to add two more cards on here and then once I get to that point then I'd have a little time to put a little money together to get the board the chip and the RAM then I'd be able to add more on but from there uh, because that's gonna be quite a bit of money I'd then be able to start putting money together again to get more GPUs but at that point then I would buy a frame to go bigger and I'd have to spend that 150 then rather than you know 150 on these power supplies 150 for the frame 250 plus for the board uh, you know probably 50 60 bucks for the chip another you know 70 80 bucks for the RAM uh, you know and it adds up quick this way I can just kind of like I said space it out so if you're looking to do it on a budget we are gonna find out today if I am able to do this I'm gonna do it on the rig that I got right here that I use for my editing and all of these things uh, it just has two uh, RX 480s on it, 8 gigabyte. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power it down. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm going to put one card on it and see if this thing uh, will even recognize it. So this one is a one-time, uh, probably, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a uh, one-time uh, PCIe. So uh, I am going to put it in the main slot and test it there. Uh, I guess I could test it in the secondary slots and see if that makes a difference or if it only works in the first slot. I don't know. I've never used one, but we're going to start off with one card. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll see where we're at. All right, guys. So here it is and it is on and it is running. As you can see, I've got just the one hooked up right now, the one card. Um, I do have the second card because uh, this this one only has two cards on it so let's go ahead and um, see about mining so uh, got the afterburner and all right so let's see compute mode so it looks like it kind of reset it so I'm just gonna go into Team Red Miner, and if you haven't seen the other video I had, if you run into that problem, uh, you can use the registry fix. It's inside of the folder. Yes, yes, and then and that's all the way at the bottom, and then all the way at the top. There's one called Enable Compute, and you start that one up. 
goes through all right so let's start it again and let's see how this does so let me see what it comes up as here for a second all right hmm doesn't look like let me uh, shut this afterburner and check my AMD settings. Um, yeah, so what it did was it, it flipped it back to graphics. I have to change it to compute. So I went ahead and I did that. <clears throat> I don't know if the screen is flickering or not for you, but it did for me. All right, so it did work. It just um, it reset the uh, AMD settings. It went back to graphics rather than compute. So I went into the AMD um, control panel, changed that. I also had to run the uh, the tool for um, uh, what was I doing on a team uh, team red miner. So again, you know, like I said at the very bottom, if it's alphabetically listed, it'd be the uh, Windows TDR fix. And from there, you start that. It's uh, going to patch your registry. And then at the very top, there's one called Enable Compute. It's a uh, bad file. Go ahead and run that. And then you can go ahead and start using it. And it seems to be working just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it. Um, well, I'm going to shut it down. And I'm going to plug the second card into it. And we're going to try that one. And we'll just work our way up. I'll be back. All right, y'all, we're back up, and as you can see, I've got two of them hooked up now. I've got one here on the top, and I've got one off on the side. Now, I didn't put one on the other top or side because I only have the two GPUs out here. If I want to do uh, three or four, I'm going to have to pull them from the other rig. Now, I've got the grow tent behind me, and I've got the uh, one rig with four GPUs and the other one with six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it in that rig instead then rather pull cards out and then that way uh, I could just plug them all into that one and, and go straight from there. Now the one thing is that it's running uh, Hive OS so we're going to find out whether this works with Hive OS or not. Um, if you want I can uh, go ahead and just fire up my miner on this side just to show you excuse me just had something to eat so let me go ahead and figure out uh, so let's go ahead and let this run really quick so you can see that as well uh, so this is just starting up alright so there's both cards oh, one of them did not like it Give it a second. Now that's interesting, and I'm going to bring this point out, is that I fired this up just before I started the video, and it was working fine. So I thought I was good to go. And uh, it looks like it's picking up a little bit. And what happened was it gave me an error. So what I did was... Um, uh, well, it, it ran, so I started mining before I started the video, and it was running fine. Uh, but now that I've started the recording, and then started the miner, I am running into problems. And I'm sure you're not going to be recording videos and doing nonsense like I'm doing. So, uh, okay, so here we go. So we're starting to come up now. So yeah, so that did seem like it made a difference. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and <laughs> not have other things running, because... Uh, you are putting a lot of information through that little card and through one slot so uh, now that one card usually runs a little higher uh, around 29 and a half and the other one is my one miserable card that I have that runs around 25 26 on its good day so it's running 23 right now but that's because of the video that I'm running so uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut the video off and let this run for a minute and just verify that this does make its hash rate. Uh, 
So I'll be back. But in the meantime, what like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just verify this and then put this in the Hive OS. And when I come back, I will show you that. And let me just see if it pops one more time here. If it uh, gets a little, yeah, 23. Like I said, it hits around 25, 26. So it's not far off. But like I said, that's typically because I'm, I'm trying to do a video at the same time. So, all right, I'll be back in a minute with the uh, other side of this. All right, y'all, so we are back up and running, and I rebooted it. I've got it hooked up over in the grow tent, and I've been letting it run for just a minute here. And I'm gonna hit refresh, and uh, looks like everybody's running about where it used to run before. Um, it's still probably, you know, uh, going through its cycle. This one card is a little low. It's been giving me some trouble. And I've been working on that one. It's funny, on Windows, I can get that card up to 30 uh, mega hash. But when I run it in Hive OS, I'm having trouble with it uh, all over the place. I'm actually going to change that real quick. See if that makes a difference. But anyway, I do have it, the, uh, the splitter over in the uh, uh, 4 GPU rig. And that's, again, as you can see on the screen, that's two 480s, a 570, and a 580. Everything seems to be reporting just fine. Uh, temperatures, well, one of them is a little higher. The, uh, the 570 and the 1480 usually run a lot lower. But nonetheless, um, it's working. And it looks like it's working fine. Let me just refresh that again. Yeah. Either way, it looks like Hive OS accepted it. it. It finds all the cards and it works just fine. It's working on the Windows rig. I've got it with the uh, two um, two cards on this one, but on that one, it's got four cards. So, as like I said, I didn't have the extra cards to bring out here to, to really want to mess with that one. So I just hooked it all right there. And uh, we are using the Hive OS and it seems like it's all reporting in. So anyway, I am going to buy a couple more of these cards and see what I could do with that. Can I put more cards in there? Because if I have six slots, that's what 24 slots theoretically right would that even work um, I have no idea but I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one or two of them now what I didn't test is putting this in one of the second slots in the one time slot so would that make a difference I didn't try that so you know what I tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop this one here because it looks like Hive OS is working fine I am gonna go unhook that plug all that back in straight and let that get back and going and I'm going to come over here to this one with the two GPUs, and I am going to hook it up to the uh, secondary slot and not the primary uh, first slot and see if that makes a difference and see if they all, uh, if these two pick up on that one, that'd be a good test. So give me a minute, I'll be right back, and we'll try that one next. All right, so I did that. I actually, as you can see here, I went ahead and put that on the secondary, and I don't have it on the primary one right here. So I did move it over, both uh, GPUs popped up, seems like it's working fine. So I went ahead and tried to start my miner and of course I got that error. I'm gonna go ahead and start it just so you can see it. And you can see that error that just popped up right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how uh, that's fixed. Um, you just go down here. Now this is all in Team Red Miner. You hit the uh, Windows Registry Fix. It'll ask you, do you want to do this? I'll bring that over. You say yes. I'll bring that over. You say OK. And then you go up to the top and you go to Enable Compute. Start that up and bring that over. Of course, it's, uh, <clears throat> it says my video may be laggy because it was trying to start mining right there. Um, so I don't know if it lagged out at all. But you just start the compute. And now you can go to the ETH and start that and let me a second and then that will pop up and then you can see that going as well now I may have an error here because I am doing the video but nonetheless it does work and it uh, it did start up for me so yeah now my motherboard does have two full slots and then four of the mini slot so um, I haven't tried this on the other full slot. I'm just going to assume it'll work there also because if it works on the main and the other one. Now we had the same error before uh, where this started off low and then it came up. That's because of the recording. So I'm just going to 
I'm just going to stop it. I know it'll work. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stop it and start that up real quick and just test, just verify that. So give me a second. All right, guys, so it worked. I started it up and it ran for a minute and it kicked right back into the regular hash. It's just during these recordings, I can't do as much uh, for the testing as I want to without it being a little laggy on both sides. So anyway, I appreciate you checking in. As you can see, uh, the experiment worked. It works on Hive OS. Um, it works on the primary and secondary slots on your motherboard. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to buy you know another two more of these. So I'll have a total of three. Maybe I'll buy four total. Um, I'll buy three more. They're like 35 bucks each. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. You can get them on eBay. That's AMD letting me about some updates. Um, you know, you can get these on eBay. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, eBay, I think they're a little bit cheaper, but you know, um, with Amazon, if you have Prime, you know, you get free shipping, free returns, and all that other good stuff. Uh, with eBay, you know, if I buy these and to test out my, you know, my idea and it doesn't work, well, I'm stuck with them because technically they do work. I just, you know, it didn't work for my test. And unfortunately, you can't buy and return things just for, you know, uh, my curiosity. So, uh, you know, sometimes you can. But uh, I figure I'm going to buy probably just two more. And then that way, if only one did work per board, I wanted to just use them on other boards, I could. But for the time being, I'm going to say yes to this, which means you should say yes to the video. A couple of those. Drop some comments below. Are you using these? Have you tried them? Do they work for you? Uh, if there's any questions that you have that I can answer, I did this on AMD cards. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the two out here were the RX 480s. The two in there, or I'm sorry, the four in there are the two RX 480s, the 570 and the 580. I haven't tried these on the uh, RTX cards that I have over in the Ravencoin miner only because uh, I just don't want to stop that bad boy from humming. Sure sounds good. I'm glad I got that grow 10 up and running. Shameless plug. <laughs> check out check out the video in the description below. I'll leave a link to that grow tent and uh, you'll see more about all that and the success that we had getting that grow 10 up and running finally. So anyway, y'all. Once again, I appreciate you checking in on me from time to time, and I'll see you all next time.